Jay Siemens here. We're down in Louisiana with Dustin Jones. Oh, that's a big one. That is a huge one. So the plan was I was gonna come down to Louisiana. Dustin Jones was gonna take me mudding, something I'm not really familiar with. My fisherman physique is maybe not built for this. And in return, I was gonna take him fishing. I'm well below average whenever it comes to fishing. We're at Muddy Bottoms ATV Park, just outside of Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm Jay Siemens. I, uh, I call Kenora, Ontario my home, and I'm a, I guess, a YouTube fisherman. There we go. That's big. We got a good one! Well, first off, I was a fishing guide, and that transitioned. Then I was a photographer, and then kind of my two passions combined, and I started filming my own fishing adventures. Jay? Dustin Jones, man, yeah. what's going on? Man, great to see you out here, dude. You got a pretty nice hairdo. My name is Dustin Jones with S3 Power Sports Pro Factory Can-Am Racer. I've been in racing since about 2013, probably, and we got into desert racing in about 2015. I got a boat, I got some fishing rods, and uh, I hear you don't fish very much. Do you have some fishing rods that I can borrow? You know, it's been years and years since I've actually casted a bait in the water. This will take a little more finesse than just a little bit of gas, a little throttle. Yeah, well that's what's in store for tomorrow. So you brought some fancy toys. I also have some toys, but for now I need you to teach me how to fish. I can do that like whether you're a fisherman or an ATV rider, there's just that, that common thread. And even though it's not the exact same sport, it's like we love the thrill, the highs and the lows, the community of the whole thing. And I think that's what keeps us going every day. Dustin said you didn't want any mud on the boat. I know he's all about keeping his gear nice and clean. I'm, I gotta back you in the water? I don't really trust you driving the boat. Yeah, you're gonna back me in. Okay, all right, cool. You good? I'm real good. I've pretty well grown up in the outdoors, man. Like, growing up here in Louisiana in the swamps. This thing's a rental, huh? Yeah, you're good. Did you check the rev limiter on it? All right, yep, it's got a rev limiter. We started S3 Power Sports, so immediately everything in my life went to off-roading. Just get her till it's floating a bit. That guy is high energy, non-stop, and I, I knew after first meeting we were gonna have a great time in the boat together. A little nervous. He only knows one speed. Jay was surprisingly similar to me. The dude likes to talk a lot of trash. I would not want to put anything valuable in Dustin's hands. Here, here's the uh, keys to the truck. Keep those. Jay, you didn't even reach didn't for them. Why your action time is way too fast for that. You I didn't analyze even... the situation. You did. Off a board. I see where we're at on this deal. Like we're gonna get along just fine. I got something for you. I thought just the proper footwear. <laughs> Bro, are these like Crocs, kind of? Yeah, they're a little bit better. Like, I, these are cool, Jay, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm just trying to figure out why you don't have none while we're fishing. I only got one pair, I thought I'd give them to the guest. I'm gonna be honest with you, Jay, I am not disappointed in these shoes. All right, let's go. Man, Lumacraft don't fool around with their seats, dog. I'm already getting nappy. I've always heard really good things about Muddy Bottoms fishing and that lake that they have out there. They take really good care of it and their conservation efforts are really strong. So I knew there were some big fish out there. What's the biggest fish they said they've caught out of here? He said, yeah, he said there's definitely been multiple tens out here and apparently the lake record's 12, yeah. We catch a 10 pound bass today, I'm taking it home, putting it in an aquarium. Fishing a new lake is, is definitely a challenge. It takes a couple days to, you know, figure out the lay of the land. If you're fishing for a new species, you need to figure out, you know, all those details for it to come together and to, to catch a big fish. These are the two type of reels I talked about, Dustin. Okay. This, this is a bait caster. Okay. So this one you got a feather with your thumb. Mm -hmm. This is a spinning rod. What, do, uh, what are you using and what do pros use? That's what I want to use. Okay, all right. We're gonna try you with the bait caster. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh -huh. I was excited to get to spend some time with a man and go do something that I haven't got to do in years. There's another fish. Jake. Look at that, look how it's swimming. Yeah, 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 I see that now. That's all wood, there could be a fish hiding in there. And he's got so much experience, like I thought it would be a good time to basically get fast-tracked back into fishing, man, because he's up to par and like up to snuff. I would try to keep your rod a little lower and do more of a slow and steady reel rather than popping up. I just want to get it a little down deeper, I think. Just sitting talking to him, man, he knows so much about fishing. But like if you can get your jig to fall right beside the edge of that structure cover. And take time to learn a lot of things from Jay about fishing. I'm on. Oh! Do I need to get the net or do yeah, I Yeah, get just... the net, man. Hold Put it in. Boom! Oh! There we go. Oh, we man. did it, we did it. I'm the type of guy that I don't need to catch lots of fish. I want to catch a big fish. In the morning, that was our focus, was catching a big bass. So I knew it would take a little bit. And you know, after I caught that first smaller bass, I was like, okay, you know, things are going good. We're in the right area. Come on. Oh, that's a big one. That is a huge oh, one. Oh, yeah. That is a hog. <laughs> Come on. Keep him on, boy. Yes. Oh, baby. Do not miss him, please. Oh, that's a giant. Yes. And it oh, came no. off. And it came oh, off. Yes. Oh, and keep him in the boat. That is giant. Keep him in the boat. That is a giant bass. <laughs> Dude. Woo. Unbelievable. Woo.
Man. That's the one. <laughs> I thought it was on a stump. I'll be honest with you. Well, that when you set the hook, it just stopped. Let's let's throw that guy on the scale. Oh, That's my heart's pounding leap. like a phone book in a dryer right now. <laughs> I, dude, I was so freaking jacked because I've never really caught a big bass. Like I said, a five pounder is a real good one. Six and three quarters, buddy. So so good. Six. That's a good fish, huh? And three quarters. Yeah, that's good. Let's get a photo with this beast. You got him? Yes. I try to su support him by the belly. You got it. Fishing with Jay, that's a pro fisherman. Dude, it was like the best fishing trip for me ever. Set the hook, and whenever he didn't move towards me when the hook set, I thought, oh yeah, we got big daddy. Just started winching. Winching is what I call it. <laughs> I don't know what they call it in the biz, but I was winching her in. I, I love teaching people how to fish. I like taking, you know, beginners out because there's nothing like that excitement of, of them having, you know, their first fish or their biggest fish. Yeah, I, I love taking people out. Fish of a lifetime, man, that was your biggest bass you've ever caught? Ever, biggest fish I've ever caught. And now we're going to brim. You guys call them brim down in the south. We call them pan fish, so good eating fish. So we're gonna do a little catching, a little cooking. You know, in this day and age, you know, you, you sometimes you know so much about someone through social media before you actually meet them. And Des and I are in such different lines of work that, you know, I didn't really know about him. He didn't know about me because I'm, I'm not an off-road junkie and he's not a fishing junkie. <laughs> My man got the hands. All right, we, we gotta roll. That's a good slab right there. That is a slab to get together and just, you know, seeing how our passions do line up and, and the similarities through it and, you know, what drives us, um, it's cool. Dustin's a very driven man. You know, it was, it was a good collab. Off a big sunfish like that, you can get a pretty good fillet. Then we're gonna deep fry them in a little special catch and cook breading. My own recipe with my buddy Josh. Looks good. Dude, thank you so much for taking time to come down here to take me fishing. I know I didn't know nothing. A lot of pressure and you got the biggest bass of your life. I had to perform, a pro was here. <laughs> so I had to impress my friend. That you know was good, mean? well I hope you like the fish. Tomorrow's gonna be fun, I'm excited. It's gonna be as wild, maybe wilder tomorrow. I'm, I'm preparing. Let's go grub down and get Sounds you good. some rest for tonight, cause you're gonna need it. It was time for Destin to return the favor. I was stepping into his world, mudding on an ATV. We brought all the toys, all the boys. This is <laughs> outrageous. I was nervous being out of my element. I'm a sweaty mess. Basically a 10 pound bass. I, I see why you mud ride now. That was good. Stay here.